Hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to organize my workspace. I have a huge mess here and at this point I don't have space at all. So my goal for next half year to improve this situation as much as I can and use space as optimized as possible. And you can see it's like half of this drawer is just a huge mess. So it's a perfect opportunity to implement Gitfinity in my workspace. I have a lot of 3D printers and we are gonna print it. And also we'll see what caveats I'll have here. I probably will do regular grid, regular boxes. Those served me well for a long time, easy to transport, but time to change. During last few years, I have purchased a lot of filaments and half of those filaments are actually have horrible colors and I never use them in a good projects. So it's a perfect opportunity to utilize this filament and uh, let's get into it. So after spending last two weeks printing those drawers for my uh, Husky table, I uh, put together here every experience I had during this time and now we'll go through all of those pieces and I will explain what problems you might go through, what um, tools you might have to use to get better quality and uh, get better results. The first topic we're gonna talk about is what materials you have to use in this project. I have tried to print out of ABS, PETG and PLA and the best results I got with PLA. Problem with ABS, when a solid piece is actually very good in quality but it's curling a lot, the model is tend to curl, a lot of overhands here and you can see how poorly it looks like and uh, it's not the biggest problem because it actually fits well and works well but the biggest problem is when you have to use cooling with these overhangs your walls are start delaminate because too much cooling on a high speed and you probably don't want to print those in a slow speed because it's gonna take forever so in my case you can see that walls are start to delaminate and separate from the model and that's one of the problems with ABS. We're gonna talk about PETG and I will place PETG somewhere between ABS and PLA because it's actually usable, it works fine, but the problem with PETG when you print flat surfaces, it tends to build up around the nozzle and just drop huge drop. That's one of the things you can see here. The surface on the top is actually looks disgusting and a lot of pieces, but this box is usable so you can use PETG. PLA on the other side is actually turned out to be the best material in this case. The structurally, all the layers are stick together very well and I didn't have a single problem with those. And I have spent a total of probably five spools to finish this project and to get best results with overhangs I am recommending to use 0.6 mm nozzle and 0.3 mm layer height. I um, was super glad to finally use those nozzles uh, that I had in my collection for a long time. Results that I got with 0.6 nozzle are the best quality and I tried 0.8 millimeter nozzle. In this case you get a problem like this where in some cases layer thickness is actually affected. So it's perfectly working piece and quality is very very nice but you just get those taps on the sides. If it's not a problem, the 0.8 mm nozzle at 0.3 mm actually can work better. The recommendations for the print are very simple. 0.6 mm nozzle, 0.3 mm layer height, three layers on the top, two layers on the bottom, four perimeter layers, 
and uh, about 30% in feel. I have played with in feel and turned out that more in feel you have, less curling you have here. And between 14 and 30 actually doesn't affect uh, the time, about a few minutes, but you will get significantly better quality surface. And with less issues on the top, here you can see I probably been printing with very low infill and you can see the texture inside for the infill it's not like bothering crazy but again one of the things to consider when you want to have a quality piece the another problem in my first drawer i have table beam going right through the middle and so right in the middle of the table my drawers were hitting a beam so i had to come out with the lower height boxes and you can also find them into the repository this project actually teaches you how to organize things. You really start feeling what's the most important pieces in your workshop and where they should be located. In my case, I use a lot of swabs when I'm soldering and I use a lot of razor and uh, tweezers. My own keys here and I don't have to use all of them. You can just use some specific pieces. Very nice. I didn't really like those deep containers because to take something out of them might require you to get all the way hand and it's not really optimizedly using the space look how how much empty space in there so in my table you can see that i have very nice flat boxes that you can actually stack and those are exactly in the same height as a regular model you can see here and so you can put two of those instead of one of those and it is super easy to use, you can fit significantly more, you can organize significantly more in your drawers. And let's see, I have a lot of Allen keys, but I use only those specific, so I don't want them to be all in one box to search. Just simple access on the top, easy peasy. All of my boxes are actually very sturdy here because I have glued frame to the drawer with Tessa tape. And I would not recommend to put Tessa tape all over the place because in the future you want to remove it. So I have used little strips here, here and here, and then everything else is actually holding the frame together and you don't need to worry about placing the tape all over the place. Super easy and very effective if you want to remove it. Here you can see that um, I haven't glued it yet and, and those are can move and you can see those are can move just because I want to try to figure out what's the most optimal here and in the future again I will just use few pieces of this tape here and here and that's gonna be more than enough just tiny pieces I will share the link to all of the tanks model I decide just to share STLs because Initial parametric model requires some work and you will spend time trying to figure out what's the height of the table and everything. In this case, my models are ready to go and you can just use them. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing, like, dislike, leave a comment. If you want to upgrade something in the repository, let me know. We'll put it in and see you at the next one. Bye bye.